So pricing your sponsorship. This is one that um, um, a lot of people spend a lot of time thinking about. How much do I actually sell my sponsorship for? It's a combination of what budget you actually need, comparison with other projects and opportunities, but the biggest one, finger in the air. I mean, that's a very crude way of saying it's what the market will pay for you. So whether it's one, a hundred, ten, or a thousand, or even a million, as long as you um, have covered your budget needs and can justify them and can say to the sponsor, if you pay me this amount of money, then the, it'll go towards X, Y, or Z. As long as you can compare it with other projects or opportunities that are in your environment, whether it's a competitive sporting event, whether it's advertising on the big screen at a cinema, whether it's putting an advert in the yellow pages, as long as they all sit within the same sort of um, budget environment, <coughs> you'll be doing okay. And then finally, it's what the market will pay you. So what comes out of that is actually aim high. So if you think, actually, I think if I sell it for 50, whatever that 50 is, I'm quite comfortable. Maybe go in and propose it's actually 75 because that gives you some margin to work down on. I'd like to say um, there's a formula and you take X, Y and Z, you measure your return on investment, you do this and you do that, but guess what? Sponsorship isn't rocket science. As much as I'd love to think it was because then I'd be an expert in rocket science, it's not. Um, it's about comparing what other people have done, it's about going out there and punting it and it's about taking your chance sometimes. I'm not dismissing return on investment, I'm not dismissing research, I'm not dismissing all those exciting scientific things, but I have to say that I'm a believer that when it comes to research, you can take any set of statistics you want and turn them around and present them in any way you want to answer a specific question. So if your prospect says to you, well, how, many, how much brand exposure am I going to get from this? And you know that their logo is going to be on your website, I mean, really, how can you tell him whether 10,000, 100,000 or a million people are going to see that logo? It's actually really difficult. So, so long as you can justify it with those other areas, um, then you can be quite comfortable when it comes to justifying.